Hi, I'm Andre with Milwaukee Valve, and I'm here to show you through some of our advanced machining processes. Here, uh, a lot of times we run into unique problems here. Uh, the fact that uh, nobody makes equipment that we need to uh, manufacture our product. So in this case, we had a couple of our guys, uh, Jim Price and uh, Frank Miller, uh, went through and designed and built um, this uh, special assembly machine uh, for us to, to do our product. And as these uh, go through the steps, you can see that uh, um, the, the uh, workers can uh, stand at their stations um, and they're presented with uh, the product um, and at various steps they are adding um, pieces to it. It goes around a speedway here and then uh, gets tested as well. So this would be the, uh, the first step in the process. And he's just uh, throwing in the, uh, the, the balls of the ball valves. And then uh, they'll put the seats in, get it rough assembled and they put it into the fixture. So here it's tightening the, uh, the gland onto the uh, body, onto the stem. So you can see here she's going ahead and putting the, uh, or the handles on. And uh, you can see here this is actually a, a torque controlled unit. So all these things have to be assembled at a, uh, a specific torque. And uh, this is keeping track of that. And it's torquing it right here. You can watch it uh, applying some uh, sealant in this station and right next to it actually applying the torque um, that's going to join the two halves of the valve body together. The torque isn't enough, it's either not gonna seal or it's gonna fall apart. If the torque's too much, obviously we're gonna cause damage. So yeah, this station here, um, we're actually doing two valves at once. It's going to open the valves. Um, it's going to put air pressure inside them. It's going to close the valves and it's testing the valves at the same time. So. It'll, it'll ch test the, uh, the pressure differential between one side and the other side, and it'll tell us if there's a leak. And if there is a leak in any of the valves, um, it'll, it'll pop them out over here. Um, and this is probably after a while of running, we got a couple here. And what we'll do then is we'll rebuild them. Um, we'll take them apart, see what was wrong, and see if we can rebuild them. Uh, we test and inspect 100% of our valves here. So, if the product's going out the door, it has been tested. So on the other side of the uh, machine, you saw it testing the seats. Um, so I was actually testing when the, vol the valve is closed, whether or not anything get can get through it. On this side, we're actually testing the actual shell of the valve. So on this side, it's, it has a, an, open, an open way through the ball, and it's just pressurizing the entire valve and making sure that we don't get air leaks outside of the valve. And you can see as you work your way around here, as the valves go around the wheel, or around the speedway, now they're adding the final trim components to the valve, boxing it, and palleting it, and it's ready to get shipped to our warehouse. I'm Andre with Milwaukee Valve, and it's been a pleasure showing you some of our machining processes today.